I cannot believe I'm doing this again already. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to another mini haul video. I have another chunk of books here that I am just dying to haul. I don't like making haul videos that are too big and long just because I don't have a lot of space on my TBR cart for those books. And then, like, I just want some of them on my shelves already because I have 24 books. Half of them are books I have already read. And so I'm going to haul them and immediately put them on my shelves. And I just want to see them there. And then the other half I have not read yet. So, I've made bad decisions. Let's get on with it. So starting with the stack of books that I have already read yet. Um, I won't be giving reviews, but I am just going to go through and say a quick little sum sum about them. Um, but the books I have read, uh, Spice Road by Maya Ibrahim. This is a Middle Eastern inspired fantasy where you drink tea and it kind of boosts your powers for the day and our main character's brother goes missing and so she has to go hunt him down. I was so excited to buy this and then I immediately read it. So then I got Blade of Secrets by Trisha Levenseller. Uh, I love this duology. I read both of them. I still need to get Master of Iron, but I just could not believe I did not already have this on my shelf. I need this. So good. Blacksmith with Social Anxiety. I related to this book so much. So I'm glad that I'm finally starting to have the first of the duology on my shelf. And then I have two books in a series. So I have The Glittering Court and The Emerald Sea. These are books two and three. They're really, it's a series of companions because they all take place simultaneously just from a different point of view and you get different puzzle pieces put into place in each of them. I had an ARC copy of this, but I really wanted a finished copy and the rest of the series. So there is another book, The Midnight Jewel, um, and I will get that one in hardcover as soon as I find it. But yeah, this was such a great companion trilogy. I'm so happy I own it now or own more of it and like a completed copy of it. I have Kingdom of the Feared by Carrie Maniscalco. Now I have Kingdom of the Wicked and Kingdom of the Feared. I still need Kingdom of the Curse. This is an interesting theme I have going on here of like buying series, but not like whole series. Because like I said, I have the first book, but the first book is in hardcover and I want the whole series to match, but they only have the newest one in hardcover. So I have to get the other ones, or in this case, the second one only in hardcover online or somewhere else because they only had it in paperback in the store and I didn't like that. So I went with what was in the store. Also, I believe this is the Barnes and Noble exclusive edition. I think I went for the exclusive edition. I debated back and forth, but I liked this one more. I thought it was prettier. So. And again, going on with series, uh, I have <laughs> Crazy Stupid Bromance and Undercover Bromance. So these are books two and three in the Bromance Book Club. I now have book one, two, three, and five. I just need the fourth one, Isn't It Bromantic, which is one of my favorites. These I've been collecting from Half Price Books. So it's just kind of like anytime I go to Half Price Books, I go to the Romance section. Is it there? No? Bummer. Maybe next time. But uh, if I end up moving away from half price books before I can get the fourth book, then I'm just gonna have to buy it new, which is fine, but this way I save money. So yeah, like majority of these are from half price books just cause I'm on a book budget, which I have maybe broken. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have this series. I want to reread the first one so badly. Now I have The Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I finally finished purchasing the Caraval trilogy, which I'm now allowing myself to get this series as it comes out. I really debated on which cover I wanted, if I wanted 
to get like a UK or an exclusive edition, but I figured those would be kind of difficult and kind of pricey. So I, I saw this, I like the pink, I like the cover, like it's fine. It's mostly that I've just seen the other covers more, but honestly I think this is really pretty and I think it'll look nicer next to Caraval on the shelves. So oh, I'm starting to collect this one and yes, it's a series that I'm up to date on, which is fantastic. Genre switch, I have My Calamity Jane by the Lady Janies. This is by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, Jody Meadows. Now, yes, I do already have a copy of this, but that too is an ARC and I wanted a finished copy. I want, I don't like ARCs on my shelves. I really don't like uh, reader uncorrected proofs. So if I get sent one or someone gives me one, I will read it. But then if I like it, I will probably give it to a free little library and then purchase the book itself, whether it's because I want to support the author or I want to put it in a free little library so that others can read it as well. But then I still have a copy of it or just, I don't know, I just like the more polished feel of final copies of books on my shelves. So I got this to replace the arc that I have. Going back to YA fantasy, I have An Enchantment of Raymond's by Margaret Rogerson. This is a standalone fantasy that I I read in a day and I loved and I was like oh my word I need to own it I listened to it as an audiobook I cannot believe how short it is I did not think it was going to be this short of a book but I'm considering rereading it and I just need a physical copy because of how much I love this book so last two are recent reads for me I have This Poison Heart by Kaylin Bayron this is a secret garden retelling with a bisexual black main character and she is left to this giant estate in her will and it includes an apothecary and she's got this magical affinity for plants. It's really cool. I really enjoyed it. I need to read the second book. But since I love this so much, I figured I would get the first book and then I read the second book and get the second book because I just, I wanted to have it. I want more spring books on my shelves because I feel like I always try and do like these Bring vibe books but then I, I don't actually acquire many of them so I was excited for a, a plant nature based book for my shelf. Okay, then the final book that I have already read on this list which is one I finished like two days ago so very recent read very much like oh I need to get this as soon as possible then I ended up going to a bookstore and that is the fine print by Lauren Asher. I get it now I get the hype now so it's one of three books in like a companion trilogy, the Bil Dreamland Billionaires, Billionaires, I can speak, Dreamland Billionaires, and this is a romance. I loved this. Oh my word. I don't even know why I loved it so much. I didn't think it was going to be this like adult romancy, but then it was. And at first I was like, oh, I don't know if I like this. And then I loved it. So I was like, okay. I'm gonna read the next book and probably no matter how much I like or don't like the next two books, I'm gonna like them enough to want to own all three books. So, <sighs> yay, yay. Plus again, I need more romance on my shelves because I just don't purchase them because it's not my number one genre. And so I'm like, oh, number one genre, fantasy, YA fantasy, mythology. That's what I should buy and have on my shelves because that is what I love most. But I should have other books of other genres that I love on my shelves too. So that and finishing series. Now we can get on to the books that I have not read yet. The next 12. So this first one was actually sent to me by the author. They were very kind to gift me this book in exchange for a free review. So uh, it is called A Wizard's Dream. It just seems like a fantasy that's right down my alley that I would enjoy and the cover is beautiful. Oh, there is a name down here. It's just really hard to read. Like, I can't read it and it's right in front of my face. But yeah, we'll see. I'm going to give this a try. We'll see. And then I have The Fountains of Silence by Rudis Apetis. I do not have a Rudis Apetis book on my shelf. I haven't even read a Rudis Apetis book, but I know a lot about her books because she writes a lot of historical fiction and I want to get back into historical fiction again. I feel like I go through a historical kick, historical fiction phase or kick a couple times a year. 
So I was re-entering that a little bit. So I wanted to get a historical fiction because I've read all the ones on my shelf. So this one follows the um, aftermath of the Spanish Civil War. Our main character is trying to reunite herself with her family, with her brother, I believe. So I think it's going to be heartbreaking and I'm excited to try Brutus of Petties, because there are a bunch of other of her books that I really want to read too, so. Then I have Gleanings by Neil Schusterman. So this is the, like, prequel or companion or just stories from the Ark of the Scythe trilogy, like, world. So I can finish the toll now because I'll have this to continue on. Next up is a book that I did not know was going to exist when I read the first book, and that is Immortality, A Love Story by Dana Schwartz. I did not know that Anatomy, there was going to be another book, and then another book came out, and so I was like, well, of course I have to have it, so Gothic Romance, Continuing Anatomy, which I loved, and my god, this cover, so. And then I did also buy Ignite Me and Unravel Me. This is the second book. This is the third book. Um, of the Shadow Me series. I have the first one. I've read it. I don't remember too much of the ending, so I'm going to need to reread it. I had an art copy of this, but I just, I want the whole series. So I got books two and three, again, from Half Price Books. So hopefully next time they will have four, five, and six, and I can finish the second trilogy slash the entire series. But yeah, I need to I need to read the series and it'll be easier now that I actually have the books to do so. Moving on, this was a book that I ordered specifically because I want to try and read it this summer. It is Rise of the Snake Goddess by Jenny Elder Moak. So this is a Samantha Knox novel. I read her first one, uh, Curse of the Spectre Queen. I thought that there was real promise and real potential there, so I'm hoping that this book is a little bit better, but it follows Greek mythology, actually, and it's like a female Indiana Jones, and that is a concept that I absolutely adore and love. So I'm, I'm excited to give this one a try. I think hopefully it'll be great this summer when I go to Greece. So I'm debating on taking it with me or just reading it beforehand till I get in the mood. I'm excited, so I needed to have this. I, I needed to have it. Plus, it's just a beautiful, fun cover. I am obsessed with this cover. Next, I bought a box set of a duology, and that is a Magic Steeped in Poison duology with a Venom Dark and Sweet. I am obsessed with these covers. They are so bright, so beautiful. Really, all I know about this duology is that it's, like, Asian inspired fantasy with magic through tea or like poison through tea or something like that It's through tea and for some reason there have been a couple of like tea based fantasies or fantasies where tea has a magical element or is an important element and I've been loving that I've been absolutely adoring that element. So I thought I'd take a chance um and get this very colorful duology. Plus it was on my spring TBR, so I was like, mm, I'm more likely to read it if I have it on my shelves. Hey, we are almost there, three more books. I then got The Wicked Remain by Laura Pohl. This is the second book after The Grimrose Girls, which is like a dark academia thriller fairy tale retelling kind of thing, where it, you have fairy tale characters, but then you have like real life reincarnations of them almost and someone is killing them so I yeah I enjoyed it it's super queer there's lots of queer representation in here so it's it's great to read in June if you're like a thriller dark academia fan um, because of that but yeah I I wanted to read the second book and so now I have the second book and I can read it speaking of second books I also got uh, Beasts of Ruin by Ayana Gray. This is the sequel to Beasts of Prey, which I recently read. A lot of the books here are going to be either in this month's wrap-up or like the first book is going to be in this month's wrap-up. And then I just also got the sequel. Now, I just don't have patience. I want them on my shelves. I'm excited. So I liked Beasts of Prey. I saw this and was like, hey, why not? It's there. I'll buy it eventually. Why not just buy it now and read it now while the first book is still fresh in my mind? So the final book in this haul, happy to say, is 
Vera Wong's unsolicited advice for murderers by Jesse Q. Sutanto. So this is Jesse Q. Sutanto's newest book. She is the author of Dial A for Aunties, as well as like New Girls. And she, she kind of goes back and forth between like comedic murder and really dark thriller, I think. But I love Dial A for Aunties. And this just sounds so fun and hilarious, but also like mystery-ish. So it's this old woman who finds a dead body in her tea shop in San Francisco's Chinatown. And yeah, she deals with it because she's a little old woman who found a dead body in her shop. I think I'm gonna zoom right through this one and I cannot wait to get started. It might be another good like vacation read because I think it's just gonna be light and funny. Whew. So those are all the books. Thank you all very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I've been posting a lot of book hauls re recently because I've been making lots of bad decisions recently. Um, but comment down below how you decide what books you're gonna buy because I've been going back and forth on just like saying just buying books and series that I'm working on or just buying books that I have read already. But what do you do? Do you focus on a specific book like you're going to go into the bookstore for this book, maybe it's just release, or do you go for a book because it's the next in the series, or do you just go and wander around and just see what catches your fancy, see what you want to buy in the moment? Like I would love to know what you guys do. Also, feel free to subscribe. I post videos on Sundays and Wednesdays-ish. Um, um, I've had some scheduling changes at my job again, so it, it should all be fine. It'll all work, but... And hit the bell to be notified for when those videos do go up. I have bookish social media linked down below that I am posting on about all these books that I'm reading, so... Yeah, you can, I post like reviews and stacks and whatnot on Instagram, so you can go have fun there. That is everything. Thank you all so much for watching, and until I see you in the next video, I wish you happy reading.